Hello everyone and welcome to yet another lovely day on Sandy Bay. So today we have got a few things to do. Um, the first thing, actually no, second thing I'd like to do is to check on the animals, see if there's any that need to be sold and see how they're doing for feed and water and things like that. Uh, the other thing is I'd like to go back down to our orchard and put a hedge in because it sort of is just in the middle of field 31. I'd like to divide it away from here and uh, then at some point we're going to have to get a topper or something and mow in between the trees um, just to make it look a bit neater really but as you can see we've actually got some fruit on here we should be able to harvest this next week we'll be able to put the kiosks up and get some money and the pears are here as well they've already grown uh, just thinking what percent is it on you have to walk up to them and there we go 76 percent so next week we'll do this we will sell the fruit off the trees and see how much money we can make. Now I did download the placeable hedge mod which allows you to add many many hedges into the game. Um, they seem to be like trees, elm, fir, maple, oak, poplar, stuff like that. But they're in hedge form so this might be interesting. Um, I'm kind of thinking to do some fir hedges. I think fir would look quite good. Maple looks okay as well. Um, so yeah they're, they're very cheap they're only £15 each so we'll go for the fur to begin with and you can see it's um, I don't know how tall it is but it's just perfect for a boundary really now I think if we go across here uh, probably from from about here go across and the good thing is you can place them sort of inside each other so you don't have any gaps between them which you can't do with the trees and then we're going to have to leave like an opening um, I do want to spin round there we go and I think we'll put it down here it's a bit hard to see the gap between at this angle and we'll just do it down to the road that should be okay Oh, it's left a really annoying gap there. Right, so let's see how that went. That cost £270, which actually does not sound too bad at all. What a mess. What an absolute mess. Hmm, I might redo that. That is... They're two spaces apart, basically. It's a good mod. It's fine along here. But yes, I, I think probably because of the slope, it has made it... a bit harder to space them out so I'll redo this bit here and get back to you in a second there we go that is as close as you can get them it's better than it was but because because of the incline here it is harder to make them look good at the top there they're absolutely fine but still that is a good barrier all I've done which is wrong is I have not put an entrance in so I'll just do that very quickly if we go into the cell page onto here. I think the best place to put the entrance is just at the top, probably about there. That should be okay. So we can get the, the tractor in here with the trailer and also bring the topper in here as well just to make it look a bit neater and that's given us enough space to turn around at the top when we're doing some mowing. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's looking a lot more like an orchard should do and yeah, I think we'll leave that until next week now. So, on to the next job, which is to work with the animals. So, the cows have actually had quite a bit of work done to them. We're going to have to check on our page to see what's actually happening with everything. Um, and the two which I was really thinking of was the pigs and the beef cows. Um, yeah, we have some which need to be sold. 37, in fact. Which does mean that we can sell some, because you can't get that many into the OEB modding trailer. So, I'm going to have to sell some. As for... The, the feed they've got, they're actually fine. So all we have to do is sell some today. We don't have to do any feeding. Um, same with the cows. They're okay. They've got they've got grass in their trough. They could do with some mixed ration. Um, and the sheep, they're fine as well. So, yes, we do need to go and get the, the animal trailer to sell them in. We don't own it. But I think we probably should buy it instead of renting it because we're going to use it quite a bit. We're going to have to do some more selling in the future. 
So we'll get into our 6616 and we will go down to the store and pick it up. We'll go and pick one up. Uh, hopefully it's a reasonable price. I don't think they are that expensive. I seem to remember from last time I used them, they are quite cheap. So, whatever money we make today should be more than what the trailer costs. That's the idea anyway, otherwise we're going to be making a loss. Oh, and also the sugar beet field just there. We will harvest it probably, if not next week, the week after. Because I've got a few other things I want to do next week. For example, the fruit. That would take up an episode, maybe even two. Um, and I think there was something else I wanted to do as well. Let me just check my sheet. I... Uh, I do a bit of planning. Oh no, I've got nothing written down for two episodes next week. I've got one episode done, that's to do the fruit, but yeah, we might do some sugar beating next week. It just depends. Yeah, it's a new thing. I used to really struggle of uh, finding what to do in each episode. I used to th think all day, what shall I do this evening in tonight's episode? And um, yeah, I came to the conclusion that I should probably write down what I did in the previous episode to give me some inspiration for the next one. Um, so that's what I do now. I write down everything so I know exactly what I've been doing. And it does help. Because believe it or not, it is quite hard to think of what to do next. Absolute lunatics. Knock the padlock off my toolbox. But here we are. We are in the store now and we'll buy our cattle trailer. The OBE livestock trailer is what we want. Um, this is £8 a day maintenance and it costs £19,500, which isn't too bad. So we're going to go with this. I'm going to, I'm going to buy this. And we can choose the colour. I think red is a, is a very fitting colour as it's going to be towed by the Massey Ferguson tractor. Oh yes, that looks good. I think last time I used it, I had it in blue. Kind of uh, debating what animal to do first. I want to sell one trailer load of each one. I don't really want to sell them all yet, because I want to leave it for another episode, but one trailer of each, that should be good. It will give us a bit of a cash boost. I just need to know where you take them to. I think you take them to, yeah you do, near Sandy Bay stores at the top of the map. That is where you take them to. Um, we'll go right out of here. And hopefully we won't bump into any more terrible drivers. I think we'll go for whatever's closest to begin with. And it's the cow's lucky day. I would imagine that this is the gate you go to. Okay, I imagined wrong. It's in fact... Hey, which one is it? Ah, it's, it's over the other side. We have to drive through. They've got plenty of feed as well. They do... They do look like they need mucking out though. It's a bit dirty. Oh, there's not even a gate. I'm assuming this is where you go to though. So we'll get the back door down. I hope this is the right place. Ah oh, yes, good. And they're loading up nicely. So once that is all done, we will take this over to the sell point, which isn't too far. It looks like it probably takes 18, is it? No. 20. 20 in the trailer. Well, that's not bad. 20 cows in one trailer sounds quite impressive, really. I must go steady. I'm getting carried away again. Many silage bales, wow. We could really get some money out of that if 
the other needed to. I think there was 30 initially. I sold quite a lot of them. Now they're not really going to appreciate this road, it's very bumpy. I was just playing around with the uh, interactive control again. And I didn't notice this last time, but when you open up the door, it gets louder. Really like that. Usually when I mess around with this, I forget to shut it again. So I must remember to do that now. But yes, it gets quieter and louder. Very nice. Oh, that field. I've still not done things. That is the very first field we did. And I'm yet to do something with it. I'm going to have to make that a priority. Because it's just been sat there. And it's not a bad field, really. Good land with a good view. And here they are. Express delivery to the slaughterhouse, I think it is. <laughs> I think it's that much. Oh no, it's just, oh they're lucky, it's just the market. So that is for the sheep wall. This is the auctioneers. And we have got cows in the back, so we need to go to the, the cattle shed, just here. Spin round and we'll unload this. See what we can get for them. I think on Court Farms, I think it was about £500 for a cow. Uh, I think I seem to remember someone saying it was 300 for a pig. Right, there they go. They're unloading individually. You can't actually see them selling. I'm hoping at the end it's just going to sort of update us with the overall price for 20 cows. So it's £11,440 I think it said there. Not bad. All we're going to have to do now is go and get some pigs. And then uh, that will be the selling for today. That really is such a good view. There aren't that many maps which have such an elevation over another part of the map. It is quite astonishing really how much of a difference um, some of the levels on this map are. I do love that though. Really good. In fact, I didn't actually know that the um, Family Simulator engine would allow such a high level of view, view distance. Why have I gone here? Why have I gone for a day out at the castle? I'm not thinking, I'm too busy thinking about view distances. Let me just reverse back without going to the ditch. Oh, this is always happening to me. Um, okay, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am astonished that um, you can do such a high level of distance. It's brilliant. It really is. Yeah, sorry about that. This time is the turn for the pigs and we're going to get another trailer load. I don't know if it'll be 20. You would have thought you'd be able to get more than 20 pigs in because they're smaller, well some are smaller than cows. And hmm, there is not a gateway on this side. Maybe it's set out differently. Maybe you actually load them up from this side. You do. I should have seen that in the first place. And there's already a pig in there. get the tailgate down it's already loading yeah I think it probably will be more than 20 pigs they're not very big yeah definitely 16 so it'd be 32 32 pigs in this trailer because it's double layer it's a double decker trailer
Well, that'll actually be quite a lot of what we've got overall. We, we shouldn't have too many left now. I think it was about that that we had. If I just go on here again. Um, pigs. We've only got six left to sell. Slaughter weight is six. We've got 18 um, of the cows. So we'll take these ones to market as well. Try and make it a, a painless ride. Although that is quite hard with me at the wheel. And here we are at the pig shed. Let's just reverse into here before anyone walks underneath us. Uh, very careless. Put the ramp down. There we go. And we'll get them sold. So, oh, it's actually 232 pounds per pig, it's telling us there. Wait for that to all sell. So while they are selling, I will just discuss the situation with the maps at the moment. Um, as you'll probably know, I am changing maps on Tuesday to the new Irish one. Um, and I think really, Sandy Bay is going to stay as it is for now. I have started to get a few questions regarding when I'm going to finish this map. And to be honest, I have no intention at all in finishing it at the moment. Because it is such a good map. Um, I hate to finish a map early before it's due. And I tend to say, as a rule, a general rule, um, I say I finish a map when I feel I've done everything I possibly can without repeating myself too much. Um, if not, I finish at 50 episodes. And to be honest, I don't think I'm there yet. We're certainly not at 50 episodes and I have still got a lot more things to do. There is still a lot more potential in this map. So, yeah, certainly at the moment we're not going to be finishing. I have kind of written down an estimate of finishing this map in four to five weeks but that is very rough it depends how I feel about it, it depends how you feel about it um, but yes like I say currently no intention of finishing it in the near future also as we actually don't need this trailer at the other farm at all this is only used at this farm we have got no point really in taking it back to Sandy Bay farm we might as well keep it here so what I'll do is I'll find a good place for it in the main yard and see where I can put it, see if we can fit it in anywhere and then just drop it off and probably take this tractor back, it just depends if we've got another tractor here. If we don't have a tractor at this farm we'll probably keep it here because otherwise we have to drive all the way back again if we need to do something here. So well, let's just have a look. We've got a baler which actually shouldn't be here. That should be at the other yard. So, yeah, I might take that back, but I would have liked to keep a tractor here. As for the animal trailer, I think we'll just reverse it into the shed behind us. That's the best place for it. And I've... Uh, blocked my way. Yeah, I don't think there is another tractor here. I will just double check. If we go onto here, go onto tractors, it's just the one. So that's annoying really, because I want to take the baler back, I could reset it, but it's not very realistic. So I think, yeah, what we'll do is we will just go back with this, and then I think that'll be it for today. won't let me attach the PTO unless it's already done it. I th oh yes it does. Yes it does it all in one with this baler. Back we go and I think I might shut those gates for the animals because we I'm not really planning on doing anything else with them now. They seem to be getting on fine. Let me shut it up. Keep it all secure. And back to the yard. T 
taking the tourist route, a much more picturesque way. And it is actually a shortcut, it's just they're a lot tighter roads. The bridge should be just around here. And there's our orchard. We have changed the view. That used to just be the, the grass field. The many fruits. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Eventually we are up that very steep hill. So, yeah, where can this baler go? There isn't really much space. It might have to go around the front and then we'll put the tractor back in its bay where it was before. That is probably the best option. Just thinking, is this baler folded up? Because it just looks... Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it should be. So, yeah, the baler can go around the front and we'll put the tractor back in there. And that would be us done for today. This baler is certainly heavy, because even this tractor is struggling with it. They have such big flywheels. Right, that should all be okay. We'll drop it off there. And we'll go around the front, or the back I should say, calling the other place a front, and we'll put this into here, and that'll be it. So, thank you very much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed the three episodes this week, and if you're watching this as a series, hopefully you're enjoying the series so far. So, there we go, please do join me again next week, and don't forget to tune in on Tuesday for the brand new map. Until then, thanks for watching, and bye for now.